Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to anyone and everyone, wherever you might be in this world. It is very early Thursday morning for me. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen today in Cryptosphere. So, in comments, I am sensing some level of frustration. In the comments, I'm sensing some level of pain. Uh, in some of the comments being made even by other elioticians, I am sensing a certain level of anxiety. And all of this is normal in a correction. If you didn't feel these kind of feelings, it wouldn't be normal, in my opinion, as a human being. Some of us might have a high threshold for pain, but none of us have that without a limit. <laughs> so it's important at the same time to have some level of confidence in your analysis and ability, not the analysis, in your ability to navigate through corrections like this with calmness and serenity. It is always, I, I always also feel that feeling of frustration, anxiety, but the important thing is how you act on it. Do you react to it and out of disgust sell into a loss? Or do you rely on your experience and say to yourself, I've seen this many, many, many times before. I have learned how to manage this that quite often going against what I feel is the better way to think. Having said that, I want to show here in the morning instead of Bitcoin right first, I want to show um, Dash, using the U.S. dollar, Bitrix feed. So Dash, in my opinion, clearly did an uptrend of impulse wave. And I can show that by one, two, Three, four, five. And those who had been holding that or laddered into this were euphoric. You remember, emotion goes from euphoria to panic in a nanosecond <laughs> for sentiment. It is extremely fickle. So people were saying, oh, yeah getting my profits, enjoying it, hedging is great, counting well, so on, so on. And now we're having the after five waves. I've constantly and consistently said, what do you get? You get a requisite three-wave retra retracement. Now that we're having the retracement and people are feeling that anxiety, oh gosh, I'm losing my w profit from wave five, uh, most of my wave three or four, we uh, profits are uh, pretty gone. I don't think that I, I know that's the feeling that's natural, but the action to take is not to take a loss heel because we have five waves. This is just a correction. And that means in a wave that is a correction, we have an A, B, C, 
I've said also consistently that what you do is not what I would do. Is not sell, but rather ladder into it. The, these types of ABC correction, especially as a C at the very terminal end of the C that you count, is when you cast your active ladder rungs to buy entry additional to buy this dip. So let's do a little more higher resolution count. So we have an A, B, and I believe a C. And you might be thinking, okay, Hedgen, this does not look like a three wave. Um, it looks like anything but a three wave. Well, let's draw a line, trend line. Here's the bottom part. It's a symmetrical triangle. So when you see a symmetrical triangle, the first step to me is A. And usually what comes after that, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, I'm working on a laptop, very small screen, mouse is too sensitive. So we have A, and then I saw that this is a triangle by drawing the tri trend lines, and I'm thinking, all right, this, uh, this is the first step down is A. This could be an A, B, C, D, E, and exactly that's how I will count it. And this will be the B point, so A, B. And C, I've always said, whether it's a zigzag or a flat, always has five waves. That means what I will do is count, like I did last night, for Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin, the micro counts to give us an, a sense as to where and when the bottom might happen. So if this is A, B, and now this is C, let's count the C. I have wave one, two, three, four, I'm gonna make five and one about equal five. You might say, hey, you broke the rule. This four overlaps with the peak of the four, in this case, since it's going down. It's overlapping with the bottom of one. I pass by the hair of my chinny chin chin on this. And in micro counts, that's okay. I have a little more problem with it on a daily count. Now I could do one, two, three, four, but that'll violate it. And eh, that's not gonna work. The bottom line for me is there might be a one more bottom, uh, one more lower low. And if the f uh, five gets extended, it'll look like this. I had a commentator saying he's bleeding, he's bleeding, his blood is all over the street. I, I, in my humble opinion, this is not blood on the street. This is nothing. This is a simple ABC correction. Why? Because I saw an impulsive. So if you didn't add her in, in a broad stroke, I can see why the maybe the pain is there, especially the uh, more greater pain. 
In a later video, I'll update you guys on the ladder that I had for Bitcoin. So let's look at now. Yesterday, I showed you the Fibonacci's. Let me see if I can find the Fibonacci fan. I think this is it. Okay, here it is. So here is one, bottom of one. cover the whole thing, make it easier to f see it. Okay, so this is a Fibonacci retracement. So we have, if this was a, ha, huh, this is not an accident, look, 0 0.382, just about on the dot, right there. A. B was in between ahead of 0.236. Currently, wave C is passed. It went past the 0.5, 50% retracement. It hit 0.382, got rebuffed by it, repelled. Now sitting on 0.52 as a support. This could be a double bottom, mini double bottom support and bounce off from here, possible. Then I would count this as A, B, C. But that's not my primary count. So if we go to here, and remember how I said when it stabs the lower line, it is bullish. And if it stabs it, Let's say in this case, wave 5 is extended. It could retrace as much as 0.786. And that'll bring to about 252-ish. So what I would do is, in fact, I would take my uh, this Fibonacci and draw the following by by ones, like so. I'd put one right there, put one right there at 0.618, put one right there, 0 0.786, <coughs> excuse me, and then what I do is I cut it in half, point right there. Now, for those who wanted to accumulate, because they've got tons of dry powder left, like I do from the prior profits, this is the kind of ladder that I would provide, uh, set up, to accumulate more, based on the analysis that I have. This is the, this is the action exactly that I would take. And if it stabs a little more, Let's say it gives 95% retrace. I'd put a blue one extremity right here. And then leave it alone. Wait to see if they go ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, get filled. When you have a ladder like this, And you get used to casting these ladders and applying it and you and profiting from it, especially that. If you actually have the experience of it, you feel almost elated, happy. The price is going lower because you get your lower rungs are getting filled. And based on your analysis, there will be a turn after the C. And you're getting happy that these are getting filled. It's a bit of a counterintuitive concept, and it's not a masochistic concept. 
not it's not because I like the pain and so I laugh it off. No. I have a reason and a method to this. And this is it. I think the bottom for dash is near. You may have to go a bit further down. That's why I would cast a wrong to accumulate this correction. I hope this is helpful. I hope I have earned your upvote, your follow, and re-steams. And I look forward to providing and outputting a lot more analysis that will be helpful to you. Thank you and have a great day.